important evidence. And by the way, hospital records, the best part of them are nurses' notes. You know, and people don't read it. So let's say there's a 50-page hospital record in evidence. Came in by the statute. The lawyer doesn't even address it. It's right there. They don't even discuss it. I mean, they should pick it up. It's in evidence. You could actually read from line one to the end of the hospital records with Judge Allowed you time, because it's in evidence. You can read it. No problem. And you go to the jurors and say, ladies and gentlemen, on page 12, it says in the nurse's note that Mr. Smith was belligerent and loud in the emergency room. So it hasn't been redacted. Tell the jurors what it says. It also says on page 20 that, that this person over here had alcohol on his breath. Could have been from a car accident case or some other type of situation. Or it says that on page 32, Mr. Smith said he's feeling okay. And he wants to go to work the next day, which goes against the fact that he's saying he was out of work for three months and disabled. Um, but lawyers, a lot of times, don't read the, the hospital records. They, they want to think that the jurors are going to go back in the jury room and sit there and read 50 pages of hospital records, which they're not going to do, assuming they understand what they say. You're going to read the handwriting. So use the exhibits that you put in evidence and, and show the jurors. Uh, and I've seen more cases where the, ev the evidence just sat there. And what, what are you telling the jurors? It's not important. If you put in all these exhibits and you don't mention them in your closing, when you tell the jurors, disregard them, they're not important. It's my words that count. Uh, so that's why I think uh, lawyers uh, should use uh, uh, the exhibits. Jury instructions. 